Hello, Diorama here, coming in hot over the tree farm and heading in towards Mount Lupus. We've got Dawn's magnificent ship, we've got the village itself, and we've got the wall, the gateway leading up to the palace, all of which is looking fantastic. And as we come over here, we've got the Royal Gardens, and that's where I want to go today, down to this spot. So if I swoop in down here, you can see that I've started doing a little bit of uh, building around here. <clears throat> so I started putting up a little bit of a brick, stone brick wall. I've got a little road leading out into the desert that just stops here at the moment. And... As I was building this, I couldn't help but think that it's not quite right because if we go back up into the air and head over the palace again, we've already got a wall design. We've already got this rather nice bone block, terracotta and wood design for our wall here and a nice big gate. So why am I doing another design for that? It'd be much better, wouldn't it, to bring it round here and then eventually end up at the back here where we're going to have the the rear gatehouse with a with bone brick, bone brick, bone block wall. So I have been AFKing and I have gathered a few stacks of bone blocks. It's not going to make too much of a dent, but it'll be enough to make a start at least and see if this is really something that's worth doing because it is resource intensive and pretty labor intensive. So, right, I'm going to, I'm going to go and sleep and then I'm going to start working on putting a bone block wall there and see what it looks like. And that is a pretty good start. I'm really glad I did that, actually. Really glad that I decided to go with the bone blocks up there. It makes it look a lot more like it fits with the, the whole palace theme. Now, I've built up this gateway. Um, that's obviously going to be that height. And around here, I'm thinking that actually it doesn't need to be much higher than this. You've got, I kept the brick wall underneath, and that's then going to blend in the, to the terrain when, I've, uh, when I get round to that. But the wall up here I don't think needs to be much taller, and I will show you for why. At the moment, this is fairly unobtrusive. The only thing that it really interferes with is the shape of this fountain, but it doesn't at all from the ground level, and you've still got all of this, right? So that's looking pretty good but you still get a little bit of it. So I think if it went up higher, say, if we, because if it was this height, it would come across here. It's gonna be quite obtrusive from the garden side looking out. So that is why I've decided to go there and saves on a few bone blocks, which is always nice. So then I've just got to decide, do I wanna bring this down as like a little curve or just have a straight line? And I think I will hold off on that decision for now because I want to build a building behind here as well later. So once I've got that building, I'll know a little bit better how that's going to fit in. But that's not the next thing I want to do because the next thing is to build a path coming down here. So this original path from when I had the stone brick wall uh, doesn't line up and is not wide enough and just is wrong. So I'm going to build that down and I'll probably give it a little bit of a curve um, because if we go straight down here it's going to run into that. So probably it'll come down, curve around here and then go off into the distance. And there we go. So now we've got this five wide curving gentle slope coming up to the gate here. And I think that's exactly what I was looking for. Let's take to the sky and just have a quick look from over this side. Yeah, there you go. So it's a very nice gentle curve, which is, which is what I wanted. I didn't want it to be right angles. I, 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 ideally, initially, I wanted it to be a straight path because I was kind of imagining this is where you know deliveries with horses and carts and that sort of thing are going to come up. So they're going to find it difficult to navigate a very snaking or jaunty path. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I've wanted and that's what I've achieved. So the next stage then is to start putting some of these bone blocks down the sides as support. Now the question is, do I want to do it all the way down to the ground on both sides? or have it more like a bridge structure which is supported by pillars and as I, said, I don't know the answer to that I'm going to do pillars first and the answer is uh, not great to be honest luckily at that point a multicoloured Benji flew in and offered to give me a hand in designing the staircase and together we got it done I'll let you take a look at how we got on. So I just logged back on and yes, well from this side we haven't really done anything. So everything's been looking in. I'd like to see what Benji's been up to. Ooh, that's new. Uh, okay. Actually, I wonder if maybe he's put these in to put lights behind. I've got some uh, sea lanterns. Maybe I can put, go and put those behind. Okay, yeah. Uh, if that's what he's done, that's a really good idea. And then we've got a nice little... Look at this. Winter Palace this way, Farm Desert this way. Love it. Ah, oh, Benji, that's a great job. Great job. I think maybe we can make this... Give this a little bit more depth. Give it a second arch that's a little bit deeper on each side. But yeah, perfect. Love it, and, and I really like this idea where you go from the magenta of the palace theme over to the red of the desert theme as you come through here. Great. Right, let's go and put some sea lanterns on the back of here then. Oh, oh, he's done it. Yeah, great minds think alike. Fools seldom differ. Who said that? Okay, so let's have a look at what's next on the list of things to do. I guess it's a building of some sort here. So I'm going to go and have a look on Google Images and see if I can come up with a design. Right, so I've come up here to have a little sleep and have a look over the garden. So, yep, I can still confirm that's the right height. And as you can see, I've started building up a little bit of... Uh, well, it's just a block at the moment over there. Now, obviously, the final product is not going to be a big block like that. I just wanted to get an idea of height and scale. So, I want something that you 
can see, but isn't going to dominate too much. And that's that's pretty good height. So, as you can see at the moment, I'm thinking that I might stick with snow and build it out of that, but that could easily change. And the area over there, let's, let's take a look down here. So the area here, so this area here would be a courtyard. So the people who are arriving on carts and horses or whatever, you know, deliveries, that kind of thing, they would all come to here. And this is going to be a courtyard. So this is going to be open air. And this leaves this area that I can work with because over here you've got this big rock and the and the garden. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. Excuse me. And um, yeah, so now there's nothing wrong with a square. I know you watch a lot of YouTubers and they say, you know, don't ever build in a square, it's the most boring shape. Well, okay, but if square is the area you've got then a square is the area you've got to use to build, isn't it? And a lot of buildings in real life are, are squares, so it's not a problem in and of itself. It just means you've got to have pay a little bit more attention to detailing. So obviously this would not be a wall like this. It would be it would have windows and details, and the roof becomes a lot more important. So probably what I'll do is try to have an interesting roof shape and that will detract from the fact that the base is a boring square right so yeah that's that's my thinking at the moment and that's as far as I got um, <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is build up the the cube basically the height won't be the same as the, this but build that up and then start messing around with some different ideas but before I do that, I need to make a decision about whether snow is going to be the best option. See, white is going to stand out a lot. And I think I'd rather have something that's, that blends in a little bit. Now, so down here, I've started going with stone brick. And stone brick is a nice choice because you've got stairs, you've got chiseled stone, you've obviously got slabs. So that might be the better option and then it's going to blend in a little bit better excuse you with the surrounding area so well there's one way to find out isn't it let's take this down and try it in brick yeah you see this rock obviously is rock colored stone colored um, and so having this a similar colour I think is going to actually fit better overall. So... The next question is... Well, the next question is, what do I do next? <laughs> oh, you see, this could almost be a contrast colour in and of itself, right? You, you've got that up here and down here. Bring in some bone block as well to give it depth yeah I think this has potential and I think the best way to start thinking about that is to knock out where some windows might be I think they're going to be the windows themselves are going to be quite narrow but because I want to add some depth into it I'll make that quite wide oh I thought something flew outside there I'll make that quite wide. So then what I'm thinking is to bring some bone block down here and then maybe some something like that. I'll tell you what else might work is iron bars. I mean, this is meant to be a more sort of fortified back entrance, right? So do I have any iron or iron bars? Uh, definitely need a door here. One higher than that, for sure. Uh, do I have any iron or iron bars? Hmm. 
you don't need to see it for these I'm going to have a look through and then have a little play around and try and work out what's going to be the interest that I can add to this rather boring looking building and I'll come back when I've got a plan. I think this is what I want to go with so it's quite subtle the, the different shades but as I said, I don't want it to stand out too much and that would detract from the garden, right? So what I've done is I've kept the stone brick, I've put stone slabs as trimming on the outside, so that gives it depth coming out of the wall, and then I've put some bone blocks set back by a block, which will give it some depth going into the building, right? And then to add a little bit more interest, I've added these iron bars, and they've got a purpose. So if we look up to the one that I've copied above, everything else is the same about this one, or it should be, uh, except that this one has the iron bars closed. So it makes sense to me that this would be somewhere that can be easily defended, somewhere that, you know, maybe prisoners could be taken or... You know, they would be held for interview if they came asking to see the Queen or something like that. So it would have some sort of fortification, some sort of way of keeping people in. So all I need to do now, and it actually means it's a very simple build, right? It was only deciding the palette and, and what kind of detailing I want to use that I needed that was, was a little bit tricky. So now I can start putting in some more of these windows down here maybe over this side as well, no point over there. I can put on a roof, and as a crenellated roof, it's gonna be flat with just some jutty out bits, right? And then I can start going through with the stone slabs, maybe the iron bars, maybe some bone, and some cracked brick, and some brick stairs, and all of those sort of good, good, good stuffs. And I can make this look pretty damn good, I reckon. So I'm gonna get on with doing that and I will see you when it's completely finished and then we'll probably call it a day. Welcome back. So I made a little change actually. Having played around with it and, and had it there in front of me for a while, just having these gray and white tones was a little bit too boring. And so what I did is I brought some of the spruce from the, the main gate, you can just see poking up over there, and brought that into this and I I think that's going to give it a little bit more, little bit more, more interest. Let's go and take a look from the, the desert as well. Yes, this is, yeah, this is looking great. Okay, almost looking great. The, the windows, I mean, are looking great. The colour palette I like. What I'm not too happy with is just how boxy this looks right here. So maybe I need to do something a little bit more interesting with those crenellations at the top because from here so obviously i'm going to put in some cracked stone and, and things like that in there but that's not going to actually add enough texture to really make a difference i don't think but maybe having a rim so maybe that's where i could use these stone slabs and have put a rim around the crenellations here well we'll try it right and see try it and see just zooming away so I can spin around and have a look at how that looks. I decided to go with spruce for these bits around the edge and I'm, I'm glad I did. I, I like how that looks. Um, I think for a square building it's got enough character and it fits It fits in with its surroundings really nicely. Actually it's a nice time to look at it. You can see that it's mel it, it sort of blends into this hill quite nicely but it's got enough interest I put a chimney up the top there that adds a little bit more interest and that, that, that's that makes sense when we see inside in a second yeah I like these two layers of spruce around here it, it looks less like a sort of drab functional castle tower just by adding these little bits of spruce this little bit of color along with the bone block and then the rocks so you can see I started putting a little bit of cracked brick in here. I'll go, I'll go up and do all of that as we go round. Very simple doorway at the moment. I might want to bring this out 
that. In fact, what I'm here. Yeah, just something very simple like that is, is sometimes what it takes. I mean, it just gives it a little bit more shape, makes it feel a bit more complete. Right, so inside did a little bit of interior decorating. I am interior decorated out after the libraries, but it's it's not my strong point anyway. I'm much better at building buildings right, and, and, and designing you know, large scale structures than I am intricate details. Um, and so interior decorating is, is a particular challenge for me. But what I've done is I've put in a little fireplace here, which I just thought I can add a little bit of that around. Just bring it out a little bit. Yeah, nice. Um, and what I've done here is just put some stairs over the windows just to give it more of a complete look. We've got sea lantern under here as a light fitting, and then the only other light in the room comes from the doors, although oh, I must have knocked it off when I was doing that. Uh, so it comes from the doors, it comes from this fireplace. And I, I think maybe even that is too much, actually. Let's, let's take that out. Things we don't need lighting in here to stop spawning because it's all bottom slabs. Um, I think I quite like this. So I have to say I am really pleased with this. Also, you get a great view of the cars, the palace from here. If we jump up here, you can see the palace and the gardens. Yes. And then out here, you've got the the desert. Right, so let's just fly in for one last look. I have to say, I am really pleased with how that's looking. Well, I'm going to end the episode by dropping that fence on the floor so you can see my face. And just sort of hanging in the air. Whee! And actually, from up here, you can really see this palace is, is taking shape, isn't it? The palace itself finally has what I think is pretty close to its final structure. The palace gardens are planned out, we've got to do that bit and that bit obviously. We've got a back gate. I know what now what I want to do with the wall that comes around here, that sort of level, and then something there, and it will come up to, to meet this wall on this side. Over this side I haven't quite decided how Big. I want this area to be. I'll probably follow the the high ground around that bit. But yeah, let's do one last fly through. Whew. Oh, I am feeling. I'm feeling really pleased with this. Really pleased. And I'm glad that we got something that's a little bit different, but fits in with like the the lore. Right? Oh, we've got a sunrise. Perfect. Let's fly over here as the sun rises behind the palace. We can even go up over the top. Oh, that's pretty special, isn't it? Come down through the village, over the ship. off into the distance. Okay, goodbye everybody. I will see you in the next episode.